What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you riveting junk journal content every single day. <laughs> so if that's what you like to uh, join our cool kids and hit that subscribe button. So today I've had this idea. I don't know if it's new. I doubt that it's new, but whatever. So what I'm going to do is I want some tags that I can fold in half and put into my signatures. So usually my signatures are about five inches or smaller in uh, width. So the tags, oh my goodness, can I do this or what? Oh my God, all backwards. Okay, so the tags need to be shorter than 10 inches. So I think I'm going to make these maybe nine inches. That'd probably be best. So that way, if they're a little bit smaller than that, they'll still fit. So what happened? What happened here? What is going on? Hang on. What is going on here with my board? Okay, so trim and scoreboard. Maybe it goes this way. Okay, that makes more sense. Jesus. Okay, so this one actually could be, let's see, how, how wide is this piece of paper? So this piece of paper is five. So we'll make these tags two and a half inches long. I mean, wide. And then they're going to be nine inches. The whole thing is going to be nine inches long. And I'm using a uh, scrap paper that is cardstock. So this is cardstock, uh, not, not scrap with paper, but cardstock. Uh, so we're making this nine inches. These are going to be two of them. So now, let me get a hold. I should have grabbed it before. Right, my scoreboard. Oh, but I need the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the Martha Stewart one. Hang on. Okay. Okay, so the Martha Stewart scoreboard. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold these in half. And I forgot my butter knives. Oh, I need my tool cart near me. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. So what we're doing here is now we're going to fold this in half. And I really just like to have it just because um, I like to make my folds in half with this board right here in particular. <laughs> okay. I hope everybody had a good weekend. So this is where it's going to sit in the signature. And now we're going to make the tag shape. So I have my We Are Memory Keepers uh, board punch here. And let's see. E. Yeah, we want it to be a little bit small. So E. There's like a little letter here that corresponds. Maybe I should have folded it in half. Okay. We'll do that next time. Hang on. No, nope, it was F. Uh, I was E, but it was F. It was F. Okay. So there we go. This is going to look so cute. I'm really excited to put these in signatures now. But of course, I like to build up a little bit of a stash. So that's what we're doing here. And right, F. F, 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 F. Did I do a different one over here? Yeah, I did a different one over here. That sucks. <laughs> I did them all correct except for this one. What did I do on that one? Let me see. I'll have to even this out. What did I do? I did G on that one. Oh, my gosh. I got to do G on the other ones, but hang on. Just a slight adjustment. And they could have both been different sizes. You would, have, would not have been able to tell. But... Just for the sake of continuity here. Now we have our tag shape. And this same board uh, helps us make the hole in the middle. It helps us center it, basically. So that's what this is good for. Okay. So now we have the tag shape. And like I said, this is going to go in my signature. So all you're going to see is this tag on one side, and then you'll see the tag on the other side. I am going to put the eyelets on it and also some uh, fabric, fabric, uh, what do I call it? Fabric ribbon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I almost didn't even come live. I have a headache right now. It's 
probably the sinuses. Uh, but yeah, I have a headache right now. My gosh. But I'm like, let me go do my little thing online. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I'm definitely doing E. No, we're doing F because E is too small for this. Okay, so there we go. So now let me do a punch with the circle on it. Okay, so that, okay, so it works that way. So now we have our tight shape. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm also going to. I got my sewing machine, and um, I'm going to sew around it as well. So let me do that before I even. Um, Pull out the eyelet because then I can't sew around it. And of course, I'm using all my scraps up, so I'm trying to grab as many scraps as I possibly can. Now, I'm just going to do a simple um, sew around the edge on this. Nothing fancy. I think I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch literally just all the way around. We'll just use default settings. And let's go. It's going to add a little bit of color. It's going to be fun. I have the bobbin loaded with baby blue. So it's going to be so cute. Carrie. Hi, Carrie. It's been a while, girl. I haven't seen your name in a minute. Happy to see you. How are you, girl? I hope you've been feeling good. Okay, let's go through this side now. do this one as well. I'm glad you're okay, girl. We don't always feel our best, but I'm glad you're doing okay. So I'm going to start building a stash of these tags to put into my signature. I definitely have plenty of scrap paper to spare. This could also be a good way to use up the rest of the papers and some paper pads I have. Just cut them up, make them into tags for signatures. you can make them as wide as you'd like or as short that'd be cute too and now let me get my tools for the eyelets so that we can get some eyelets in here one moment get my camera back in place one moment Get my eyelet setter and my eyelets. Here they are. Okay, I think white would look cute with these. I do have blue. Well, actually I actually have blue ones. Literally, I have uh like four blue ones. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so the hole is actually too small. So I'm actually going to make a bigger hole. It is one eighth inch right now. That's what the board, this board punches one eighth inch holes, but I need three sixteenths hole. So let's do that. So now it's punched out. Oh, I should have done it in both. Duh, I should have done it both. Duh. 
What was I thinking? Okay, so now we're going to get these done together here. Okay. I don't really worry about it being, like, even too much, honestly. Okay, so now we are going to the set setting here for grommet. For gr Why do I want to keep saying grommets? They're eyelets. For eyelets. <laughs> this is going to be so cute. Oh, yes. That looks really good. Hang on. Hang on. Sometimes I gotta get up to do this part. So you really gotta put some pressure on it, which is also why I don't do a lot of eyelets <laughs> at once. <coughs> it does take a little bit of um, pressure here. So let's do this next one. There we go. Okay, so see, that's going to be our tag. And once we put the ribbon on it, it's going to look so cute. Perfect for inside your signature. You Technically, you just made two tags. I'm going to use white ones for these. i got to order more eyelets, actually. These things run out pretty fast. Especially when you make um, as many tags as me. <laughs> I make a lot of tags, apparently. I really do make a lot of tags. I realized this when I um, put together, what, like 10 packs of a dozen tags. And I'm like, that's literally 120 tags, Daisy. Like, and I still had some left over for myself. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> but that's just what I do, y'all. It's just what I do. <laughs> I do the most. <laughs> okay. Let's do these two here. Of course, when I do things on my own, I do things in large batches. So first I'll cut everything up, then I'll sew everything up, then I'll put all the all of the um, eyelets in there. Okay, so now you can get a pretty, this is what I call fabric ribbon. It's just a tiny strip of fabric. I don't call it that. I heard it being called that. <laughs> let me let me clarify. <laughs> and now, of course, that it has the eyelet, it's not going to rip the paper. So you can make a pretty little bow at the top. Well, this is not the top, really. Technically, this is the side because it goes like this in the junk journal. So. That's the idea behind this whole project that I'm doing today. So I'll probably be doing um, everything probably besides the fabric ribbon because I actually have to make that with my scraps and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the, the general idea that the tag is going to be this way in the signature. So let me get to cutting up more of them and making more and everything like that. So, so... Let's get my stuff out of the way. There is a lot of tools involved in this process, I just noticed. <laughs> okay, so I'm back at my scraps again. This is my basket, one of the baskets of scraps that I have. Ooh, look, this paper's pretty. Oh, and then there's this pretty green one. Yes, let's do it. So you definitely want to have a nice long strip. Um, like I said, generally my junk journals are about five inches wide. So I'm going to make this nine inches uh, total length. So that way when I fold it in half, it's less than 10. Hello, Miss Gigi. What's up? Yes, it is the evening here for me. So I'm making these nine inches long. And I'll probably make these even these little ones even into tags. These would look adorable as tags, actually. Actually, okay, so that's nine. I actually fold that in half here. I just, I like the edge. <laughs> I'm so weird. I, like, I specifically like that Martha Stewart edge on the scoreboard. This one doesn't have it, so I'm like, ah. Uh, still got to get my other board, though. Okay, so this has to be nine. These are adorable. 
So I have some pretty scraps sometimes. They are very pretty. Okay, so fold this in half. This might have done a little bit better actually folded in half. Okay, that's what that's what glitter paper does, y'all. Okay, so fold this one out. Sometimes glitter paper, it'll crack on you instead of fold. Yeah, see, this cracked. See, that's... I should have scored it. And I think it'll be okay. The paper underneath is still very much intact. Smooth that out. But it cracked, but that's not going to show anyways. So you know what? I'm still okay with it. Okay, so now these ones are going to be wider. And these this is a good paper because it's white on the inside so you can write on it. So you can um, journal. Sorry if I look shiny. <laughs> I just noticed uh, my forehead looks really shiny. I put some like CBD like real pain relief stick on my forehead and I just realized it's really shiny still. <laughs> it helped actually. It did help. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so now back to our tag punch board here and i'm gonna oh it's a very very small it's uh we're gonna do letter b so letter b it's hard to see the letters they really should have colored them in a different color okay anyway so we got that cut off there and this one's a little bit thicker than the last paper so i'm not gonna try and do two of them at once Okay, so there's one tag shape. Oh, this is so cute. I love the glitter paper. Is that B? Oh, this, this board. Um, those letters definitely need to be colored in. I seriously can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> so B. Okay, here's B. Okay. You're glowing. <laughs> Yes, girl, it's just that natural glow, you know? Just I just got it. I just have it, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry that you don't, you know? <laughs> just kidding, you guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> so, it's B. So, we're doing B over here. That little CBD stick, it always helps. I have very small headaches. So I don't know. Uh, um, I don't know if it helped with like major headaches, but it helps. With, like sometimes my hands hurt, or like said, like I said, for my headache, I'll just rub it on my temple and my forehead, and that helps. Okay, so I did do two at once. Okay, fine. Then we're gonna hole punch it. Ooh, this side is really big here. It's kind of hard to um. Okay, it's hard to pinpoint where the middle was because it was such a large tag here. Same here. Okay, so now we sew. Now we sew. See? It's going to go on order. Would have not been good. Uh, do I need that cutter? I feel yes coming to me. Um, The cutter is okay. I'm not going to say it's like awesome or anything. I actually don't really use it to score either. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say it's okay. Uh, you can get it. It's okay. I'm not going to say it's the best cutter I've ever had in my life because that's the Fisker's Precision Cutter. I just didn't feel like messing around with that right now because it's so big. <laughs> I actually got to get a new blade for it, too. I need new blades for it. But it is nice because uh, Michaels carries them, so you can just pick them up. Okay, this one looks good. I had to get more glue sticks, you guys. I ran out of glue sticks. Like, making those tags, I totally ran out of glue sticks. I ordered more. They should be in the mail today. Actually, I got to go pick them up right now. 
I always order things to be uh, delivered to this one 7-Eleven um, near my house instead of my house. <laughs> they have those Amazon lockers. I actually love that service. I don't trust my neighborhood enough to leave packages outside. And I don't want to be like, oh, I have to be home because my Amazon package is coming. So... <laughs> This looks so cute, though, with the blue. I'm shocked this blue is working for everything. All right. Okay, okay, we're getting it. Again, because I don't actually go in with the with the inks and ink every corner, I like to give a little something special to the edges still, so I like to sew around. You definitely don't have to sew it. I just like to. It's just me. That's just me, girl. It's just me. What is happening? Okay, hang on. Something got caught. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to show y'all, but like, you really can't. It's just a mess right now. Hang on. <clears throat> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to figure out. What happened here? Guys, these sewing machines sometimes, though. Sometimes. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. I don't know. My eyes are like crooked today because I cannot. It's going, it's going, it's going. It's thinking about it. Ooh, okay, there we go. No, 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 I pulled it out. <laughs> you guys, this is like so stressful right now. Okay, we got it, we got it. <laughs> Sometimes when I try to get my finger out of the way, I pull it out, it's like, why? Why did I do that? No. <laughs> You guys, you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back on track. Okay, good. Here we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, okay, what is everybody saying? Carrie says, I'm going to be listening and watching. I've got a doctor's appointment early in the morning, but I'm here. Okay, hey, uh, Carrie, it was nice to see your name, girl. Uh, hi, Beverly. How are you, girl? How was, how's your Monday? How did your Monday go? I hope your Monday was good. I heard everybody had a fun weekend. I wanted a craft, but I just, I really just wanted to play Fallout, so I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> but I do want to make a Easter uh, junk journal next. So I'm probably going to get started on that tomorrow. I just didn't feel like it today. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, so we got the tags all set up. So now. Oops. <laughs> trying to make a hole here. We're trying to make a hole. The hole that the punch makes is too, uh, the hole that this makes is too small. So I like to do this i help it to make uh i help it to find the center it helps me find the center of things but um <clears throat> it's too small of a hole for me okay so can let's see this is not really any color oh not this is a pretty bit gold maybe 
I don't know why I'm thinking gold would be pretty on this one. Yeah, that would look pretty in gold. Okay, so let's do this one in gold. Why not? Why not? Let's go crazy. And then we'll do this, these ones in white. Definitely need to buy more eyelets. I got these at the at the thrift shop a long time ago. I got this big old bag of eyelets. Best deal ever. Okay, let me get up because again, I have to get <laughs> I have to get up for this machine here. This thing in the biggie. And okay. Okay, there we go. That worked. Yep, that's good. Let's do this other one. <laughs> Sorry, I literally have to stand up for this. Otherwise, it doesn't really work. Okay, so there's those two. Okay, so this one is done. And of course, we're going to put some fabric ribbon in there in the end. It's going to look fabulous, just like this one right here. Of course, I don't have my fabric ribbon ready, of course. Sorry. <laughs> I need to make some. Okay. Here we go. Right there. Gotta love this. Uh, what is this thing called? A big bite? We are memory keepers. Crop a dial to big bite. Gotta love it, you guys. Okay. There is two more tags to add to our little growing collection. Again, you can make them uh, less wide or more wide if you want. It looks good uh, with the cardstock that's white on the inside, so that way you can write on it. Um, but you know, the different color ones is fun too. It's also a lot of fun. Okay, let's make another two. <sighs> Going through my tools, get my cutter, and my big old pile of scraps, y'all. Big old scraps. Yeah, I'm looking for long scraps because I'm going to try and fold these in half. Um, That's too short. Ah, see, this one is nice and it's actually like a full sheet of cardstock. I don't know why that is. It's in there, but it's in there. I'm trying to find maybe like the more fun cardstock though. Not just like plain. Let's put some fun up in here. Let's see. Let's see. I got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff. Um, this one kept going to be kind of cute. A little short, but that's okay. Let's do that one too. Let's see. So many things in here. But I'm trying to get some cardstock pieces done. This is the pile I'm trying to work through, y'all. If you can see, uh, if you can send some help, that would be great. <laughs> I'm going to make them out of these two. Also. I'm trying to find more fun cardstock, but maybe I've already used it all. I don't know, maybe. Okay, well, I got some pieces there to work with. Okay, we'll relax, we'll relax. Okay. So these ones are already below nine inches, so that's good. These ones are gonna be really wide. So that's gonna be great for you to write in. Let me cut these up, cause these are a little too big. Make these, uh, make them four, four inches wide would be good size, maybe, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's, and then these two, we'll do all these together. These are already a good size. Okay, so now we're going to fold them. And again, I don't want to actually like measure to find the half. I just want to fold it in half, which is, I don't know. Maybe it's just my crutch, but you see this corner here? I like this part right here when it comes to scoring. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
it just makes me feel like so much safer. <laughs> it makes me feel good. So that's going to be like a half tag. It's going to be adorable. It's going to be so cute. Everything is going to be so cute. These would have looked cute if I had coffee dyed the paper. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll coffee dye all my scraps. I've done it before. <laughs> I just coffee dyed all my scraps and all of a sudden it's like a brand new toy. <laughs> Ms. Gigi, thank you. Thank you. Yo, too nice. Hi, River City Creative. What's up, girl? What's up? It rained yesterday. Such a weird day. Whenever it rains in Las Vegas, you have to talk about it because it never rains in Las Vegas. <laughs> so I have to mention it. Okay, got the more folded in half. I really need a side table right here because I tend to use my trash can as a table. <laughs> And I probably shouldn't do that. Okay. So this tag might be too wide. So we can fix that. Uh, I just have one of these uh, altered garment tags. They're called garment tags if you want to look them up. Garment tags. And we could just copy that. And then we'll copy that over here as well. Oops. Don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. Okay, see? That's just going to be like a cute little, like, little half tag, like a card almost, but it's a little tag. This isn't too wide. This one's also too wide. That's okay. We'll fix it. Use whatever tag you have to help you make the little corners if you don't have this little um, tag punch board. It's definitely not necessary. It's just a little bit easier on small things. On big things, obviously, as you can see here, it's not really working for me right now, but that's okay. It's okay. We'll just have to do them all like this because these ones are too wide. That's okay. I'm excited. I get to see my husband tonight. He's coming home from California. So I'm excited to go get him. Yay. I like my time alone, so I don't mind because he like leaves all the time. <laughs> like everybody always is like, why is he in California all the time? Like <laughs> uh he does his music thing out there. He's got um music friends and everything. And uh so he goes out there a lot and that's okay with me. I like my alone time, guys. I don't know about y'all, but I like my alone time. I do not mind. <laughs> I do not mind spending a weekend or so by myself. It's not a problem. The only problem was that it was double XP weekend on this video game that I play, and it would have been nice if he was home. <laughs> That's the only reason, like, honestly. <laughs> if it hadn't been double XP weekend, he could have stayed. <laughs> okay, so we are almost done with this one. Again, when you do these by yourself, you can do them in steps and you can get a lot more done. But I'm here on camera. I'm trying to chat with y'all. Trying to enjoy my time here, you know. Actually, I'm getting hot. Hang on, let me take off my sweater. I'm dying. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we're back. Okay, so. We technically cannot punch uh, the hole in the middle. I don't think we can. This is too big. This is way too big. I literally have no idea if that's the center, but I it guess it's close enough. I'm literally going by these little triangles right here trying to see if they look a little bit even, but that's okay. If it's not in the center, you can't really tell anyways. <laughs> So it's okay. Just kind of doing it. These are going to look so cute. It's going to be the perfect, like, writing spot, you know? It's just what I imagined. It's just everything I dreamed about. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I went to Ikea, you guys, this weekend with my parents. I love Ikea, you guys. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but, like, I love Ikea. I forgot my purse is on the wall. That's actually where I... <laughs> That's actually where I, I, I hang my purse most of the time. 
whenever I'm live, I take it off, but I totally forgot this time. <laughs> uh, it rained here too. Ooh, you guys need rain? Well, it wasn't that much really, but I mean, it's quite uh, a thing when it rains here. Okay. So excited. I got to go to Ikea with my parents. Um, they wanted to buy like a new bed. Well, actually, they told me they were just going to go look. Like that was the whole idea was we were just going to go look at everything. I already know what they had, but I think they've only gone there a handful of times. So, and they actually ended up buying like a bed, two nightstands on like a couch bed. <laughs> they went a little crazy. Uh, they actually bought the same bed I have. Which is And I got to buy some more of my favorite Ikea trays, plus trays. And then also this one, like, hanger for my Razcog cart, which I'm not sure I like, actually. <laughs> I bought it to be, like, specifically the size of my measuring, uh, measuring board, and it doesn't actually work. At least I don't think it does. I'm still trying not. I'm on the fence about it still. Still on the fence. Yeah, I love Ikea, but I could be there all day, every day, I think. Just like taking pictures and like imagining my house looking like that would be so fabulous. Ikea is too far for you. Ikea used to be the closest Ikea to me. I live in Las Vegas. The closest Ikea used to be in LA forever. And I would see it on my way to my hometown because I passed by LA on my way to my hometown. And I would see it and I'd be like, Ikea. I'd be like, Ikea. But I would never stop. <laughs> so I didn't actually go to an Ikea until they made it here in my town. And then when they made it in my town, I was like, and I had money. I'm like, I'm going to furnish my whole house in Ikea. And that's kind of what I did. <laughs> and I keep going back for more. <clears throat> I have to buy a plant stand, so I have to go back and finally decide which one I'm going to buy. I need a plant stand for my outside garden that I'm trying to get started. I bought a couple plants the other day. Good luck. Good luck to all of us. <laughs> Good luck to us all. Send us positive vibes. <laughs> you guys, I, I kill a lot of plants. <laughs> Laura, don't you have online shop for Ikea? Yeah, you could definitely online shop for Ikea. But going there is like a whole thing, you guys. You guys know it's a whole thing to go to Ikea. It's a whole thing. You have to go. <clears throat> I've literally been trying to find like any excuse to go to Ikea. So like every time I'm going to hang out with my mom, I'm like, do you want to go to Ikea? Do you want to go to Ikea? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, annoy, I annoy her so much. <laughs> I'm too much, you guys. Any excuse to go like, yeah, I am down. <laughs> I am so down anytime. <laughs> Laura says, I went to Tuesday morning and bought a paper pad, a butterfly punch, a big serving spoon, and a color box black ink pad for embossing. Ooh, I need the black ink. That would be so cool. Uh, I don't need anything for the house. We have lived here for 30 years. <laughs> But hey, hey, Ikea's got new stuff all the time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just like staring at blank walls. So I'm like imagining like shelves and other stuff. So that's just me. It's just me. Since I got this machine back from the <clears throat> from getting uh, maintenance, it's like butter, you guys. Like butter. Like butter. 
Oh, yeah. That looks good. That is such a nice writing space, though. And it's not like a blank piece of paper. You know, it's got a little bit of shape to it. It's got a little bit of visual interest. I'm into it. I'm into it. You always need things from Ikea. Yes, I love Ikea. In Sweden, they have craft stuff. Ooh. Ooh. I should get sponsored by Ikea to go to Sweden and check out Ikea in Sweden. <laughs> Only for craft purposes. <laughs> Patricia, what's up, girl? I am so happy you're here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to build a nice stash of these, and that way I could just grab them and put them in the It's done. This is such a nice product, and I could tease up all my scraps. You guys forget about it. You could even use regular regular paper to make the tags out of. Maybe just don't sew around it, but <sighs> such a good idea. Maybe somebody else has done it before. I'm sure. I mean, it's not like a revolutionary idea. But I know I've been wanting to do it. I didn't see anybody else doing it, but I've been like tag, tag for the signature. Like, you can do it. This would actually also make it cute little junk journal in the shape of a tag it would be kind of cute now that I think about it that would be adorbs you guys when does the cats movie come out I'm too excited for it. I legit want to watch cats again so bad except that scene with the little railroad cat I don't like the little railroad cat I don't know what I don't like his little pants. <laughs> I don't trust his little pants. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, Laura, good night, girl. Good night, good night. I gotta have my watch, y'all. It's butter, y'all. This is butter. Just freaking butter. I think it was gonna be this cute, but it's really cute. There we go, last one. Before I gotta do the next step for these ones, what I do? Just four, five, five of them? That's not bad. Oh, I got two more, six. All right. This is gonna go good. You could also just sew around in a straight line, also, that'd be kind of cute. Maybe I'll do that in this one. Let me do that, it would be kind of cute. So, <sighs> my straight stitch, I've been practicing my straight stitch for days now. I did do more of my index cards, gotta put them up for sale. It might be a while because it takes a minute, but. Straight stitch here is on point. Then, of course, you don't have to sew them at all. It's just me. I like to sew my stuff. Like I said, I don't ink 
my edges. So I like to add a little bit something extra to the edges. This one right here. Okay, that does look cute also. Yeah, that looks that also looks really cute. Just a plain simple stitch. You can see the difference here. Both look cute. <laughs> I don't know if I have a preference either way, but both look cute. I like them. I'm gonna do uh the zigzag stitch on this one because the blue will not even show up. Try and change the numbers, and I forgot I used everything. In the <laughs> this thread is not going to show up on this paper at all unless you look really close, but that's okay too. fabric ribbon. Just watch, just watch. Okay. That's it. So now it's eyelid time. I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger because the hole's too small. So one second while I make this hole bigger. Okay. Okay. Too cute, y'all. Too cute. Okay, so now we go on to the setting set. The set setting. <laughs> that sounds right. Okay, this one would look cute with the red. That would look so cute with this red eyelet. Okay. Why not? Let me get up. <laughs> I have to do this standing up. It's hard enough to do this, but sitting down is not how you do this. See, why is this not working? What's going on here? What is happening? Stay. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's some times where you don't lock it in place sometimes and it like slides back. I don't know why it does that, but it does that sometimes. It's a little finicky. There we go. And yes, this is my Planet Fitness shirt. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a healthy girl. Okay, so that looks adorable. And then, of course, I'm going to put the fabric ribbon in it later. Not right now. <laughs> okay, with this one, you know what? Red would still look cute. No, I don't like it with the ivory paper. Ah. Uh, um, let's just do silver on this one. Whatever. <laughs> I have the most silver. I should uh, probably use them up. Let's see. See, it's hard to do it sitting down. I don't know why I find it difficult to do it sitting down. It's really not that difficult to do sitting down. But I find that I don't get the leverage that I need. 
Okay, so those are done. This one. Uh, we'll do white one with this one. Actually. Now see how it's going to stand out nicely. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> this part's a little, I just noticed it's a little uh, off camera. Sorry. <laughs> You're missing all the action, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, okay. There's the other white one. Oh, I didn't pull it out. Okay. Here we go. And then we're pretty much done for today. I play a little bit more. My headache. My head hurts a little bit. I don't know why. Well, I guess I do. It's probably the sinuses. It happens sometimes just like a little bit of pressure. <sighs> Okay, let's do, I don't know why I want to do gray on this one. I guess I'm going to do a lot of gray. Yeah, that looks cute with the gray. That looks adorable. I like it. Oops. That looks good. Yeah. I did pull the white one out. <laughs> oh, God. I love how you can do the tags beforehand. I have to do things when I need them. I feel like I have to feel the product. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I, I like to do things in large batches. And then it all comes together. That's why I don't do things in theme. But like this type of thing, you know, this would fit for any theme. So this is kind of a, a universal project. <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't know why I'm feeling I want to put brown on these ones. Being a little crazy. <laughs> a little. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's like this reddish brown one. Slightly reddish brown. It's not really that red brown. But it is a little bit more reddish than the dark brown one. So let's do that. Oops, oops, oops. Oops. I wish there was an even easier way to do this. There has to be. <laughs> I know I don't want to go back to the days where you used to have to use a hammer to do this. I definitely don't want to go back to that time. <laughs> that was not a crafting time period I want to go back to. Okay. Last one, you guys. Before I say goodbye to y'all for today. But see, you can make them skinny and you can make them all the way wide to where they're like really nice writing size papers. I really like the big ones. They're just like really good for writing. Okay, so this one I could put red. Got a little bit of red detail in the paper. Put a little red. I think I used to have pink ones too. Yeah, I did. I have. I literally have two left over that are pink. <laughs> I have to buy more. More colored ones. And I think I'm left with the white, the silver. Basically the white and the silver. That's what I'm left with. I gotta buy more colors. Okay, you guys. So that is the project I wanted to show you guys today. And I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you guys try this out for yourselves. Built up your little stash. Definitely a cute project um, to use up all your scraps with. Again, these are card stock. Um, you could probably use regular paper. Um, but I prefer to use the card stock because then I can put the eyelets through it and everything. Just really cute projects, you guys. So that's my little episode for today. Thank you guys so much for coming and hang out with me. And um, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll start. Did I get a humidifier? No, I need to. I got to research how humidifiers work and what's the best way to put them. I, I do a lot of research before I buy stuff. So, And I don't have a nightstand table. So I guess I got to figure out what kind of nightstand table to get. So <laughs> I haven't gotten it, but I do want to get one. <laughs> 
So I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys have a good Monday. And I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Bye.